to go back there and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. are denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Convoy needed some fresh rifles. We got volunteered. It didn't sound like the most glamorous mission in Alpha Bay. It wasn't supposed to be, Lieutenant. So you say, Lieutenant. So you say. Our old convoy had been wiped out in minutes. Never seen anything like it. Colonel Loomis, this is Lieutenant Baird. Big problem, sir. Our convoy just got destroyed. Then move on to the Museum of Military Glory. It's under attack. Sir, whatever destroyed our convoy is still out there. Noted, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Come on, Kilo. You heard the man. I heard him. Doesn't mean I like him. The museum was on the other side of the river, the side the Cod no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. Yeah, nice. Kinda reminds me of my old wine cellar. Wait a minute. You have a wine cellar? Hey, look. So this is the UIR sniper rifle. This isn't a gun! It's a comrade. It was faster to go through the empty buildings than around them. They were all so... abandoned. If no one here had been evac'd, where was everyone? We got a healing cantus! Luma sent us. Where should we go? You're not Onyx. I'm Onyx. No, you're not, cadet. <laughs> Stay here and defend this area. The East Wing is getting hammered. <laughs> Glad 
Black Force said they were losing the East Wing. He didn't mention they lost everything on the way there. shaken up. That grub was upsetting in 12 different ways. It was time to talk to Paddock. Did you recognize that thing, Paddock? Unfortunately, yes. Always like my ass money, baby! Wait, did you hear that? No, hell no, I don't do that! Get behind it, they look vulnerable back there! That's enough slittering and enough eggs. I prefer to shoot at something that walked around on two feet for a while. What have they done to my Marksa? A sniper rifle with no scope? Ha! Those grubs are real geniuses! I could hear voices again on our comms. Nothing too distinct. If we could make it back topside, we'd be online again. Kilo to control. I need Loomis. What is it, Lieutenant? Uh, Colonel, some grub riding a, a, a monster just wiped out every rifle at the museum. Request guidance. Kill the grub, hold the museum. Colonel, Paddock here. This grub, Goraznia, they called him Khan. This isn't Goraznia. My army threw all we have at him. Colonel, what about the light mass missile? Cadet, leave strategy to men with bars. I don't want to hear a word from any of you until Paddock's boogeyman is dead and I can... Classified, but there's one here in Helvo. The inventor teaches at the academy. Yeah, Professor Elliot. I worked in his lab at LaCroix before he went military. The missile draws power from refined emulsion. The more emulsion, the bigger the bone. <sighs> Courtesy of your big boom. God. How close were you to the impact point? Close enough. That thing would burn up this entire city. This one's low yield. After the Hammer of Dawn, Elliot stopped working on it. How low yield? Baird, or Lieutenant. To fire that thing, you have to get the targeting beacon. The launch codes, personally activate the missile on site, and get this all approved by command. Control, Kilo here. So, we're gonna get the light mass missile online and use it to kill General Khan. Any objections? <sighs> Works for me. All right, come on, cadet. Going back to the academy. That's an order. <sighs> cadet Hendrick, I'm curious to hear what it takes to convince an Onyx Guard cadet to steal one of the COG's most powerful weapons. I was against it, sir. That's right. Run to Danny. Maybe you could show me and the army you volunteered for a little respect. I tried that, 
and look what it got me. Academy cadet. I had to see if my friends were all right. We took the sewers from the museum to the academy. The whole way there, I couldn't stop thinking about my fellow cadets. I hope they held out. My fellow cadets. We're the smartest, the toughest, the best the COG had to offer. The next generation of officers. Karn mowed them down like daisies. cleared security. Unless you're a grub, then you just tunnel in. You're kidding me, right? That's our beacon? These units are tough, durable, and they can cloak. You'll grow to love I thought he could cloak. Not on Academy grounds. Anti-cloaking fields. We'll have to protect it on the way out. Bot, can you take us out of here? The bot would lead the way from there. He knew the shortcuts. We just had to keep him close and safe. The bot was holding up well. I just hoped he still knew where he was going. He couldn't exactly be I'm lost, could he? That's the raven we saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Let's scavenge whatever equipment we can. That's all we can do now. Someone's gotta name this thing. I followed Baird to the Academy to find out what happened to my fellow cadets. I found out. They were all gone. The monster that killed them had to pay. So, Paddock. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR or Private Paddock of the COG? Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine. Let's settle this like enemies, then. Hey, hey, hey! That's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. I'd seen pictures of the mansions of Halvo Bay and wondered if they were real. Maybe it was all just propaganda to intimidate the UIR. It wasn't. But the Grubs had been here and turned all those mansions into fixer-uppers. I need a hand!
We had the bot, but we still needed the launch codes for the light mass missile. Baird and Sophia's friend, Professor Elliot, was the only one who had them. The professor's mansion was close. If he was still alive, I figured I'd buy him a drink. Or a dozen. After a little push on some abandoned COG hardware, we were that much closer to the Professor's mansion. Mortars! The grubs are gonna flatten that house if we don't stop them! We couldn't get into the Professor's house until we eliminated those mortar squads. Every mortar squad. Yes, I was surprised a little by Sophia's friendship with her professor. But I don't judge. Cadet, I'm sensing you and Elliot are close. You need to prepare yourself for what we might find in there. I just lost all my friends, Lieutenant. It's not like my day's gonna get any worse. Private Augustus Cole, you've been atypically quiet until now. Oh, listen up. All we gotta do is... I assume you actually listen to your crash ball coach from time to time? Crash ball? You're not a fan. Pretend war? No. How are you finding the real thing? I've been more comfortable. Then unburden your mind. Next, we hear the Flyonyx Port. That facility's location is classified, Private. I told Harbor a few years back. One of your generals was a big fan. Took me on a tour. We went on inside. I hope you don't plan on shooting us for trespassing, Colonel. I already have plenty of reasons to shoot you, Private. When you don't know where you're going, just go. We will find a missile eventually. The place was huge. I knew finding that missile wasn't going to be easy. Guess that's the point of hiding it there. starting to worry they already found what we were looking for. Khan plus the light mass missile? 
Hmm. That's a world I don't want to live in. Lieutenant Baird here. Lieutenant, what is your position? Onyx Point. We've just activated the light mass and we're about to... Uh... Not another goddamn word, Lieutenant. That missile is sitting in that silo for a reason. Colonel, you have no idea what you're up against. I know exactly what I'm up against. The grub who killed a bunch of worthless indies. I'd shake the bastard's hand if I could. Then you and your men will die. Lieutenant... Arrest Private Paddock and remain on that rock. Actually, no. Cadet Hendrick, arrest Paddock and Lieutenant Baird if he resists you. This is Omega-2. We're pinned down two blocks from the museum. We need an evac. We're mobilizing, Sergeant. We can have a Raven to you in an hour. We don't have an hour. We could be there a whole lot sooner. I'm gonna rescue Omega. That's a coincidence. So am I. It's done. Where to, Damon? Back to the mainland. Gears need our help. People astound me. Consider getting back out there and fighting, Captain. Sir, they're right outside. Then it'll be a short walk. This is crazy. I'm waiting on you. Finish up. The light mass missile was ready to launch. We needed to find Karn, get the beacon close to him, and fire. And where was Karn? Well, Omega knocked out his cedars at the museum. I figured he'd want to deal with that personally. Colonel, what if Karn allowed Omega to knock out that cedar and wanted to lure your men right to him? These grubs are actually thinking strategically. Patrol's coming in. Let's set up a little surprise. Okay, split up. Two left side, two right side. Day, Old Town seemed deserted, even though it hadn't been properly evac'd. Where did everyone there go? Now we knew. The rooftops. They thought they'd be safe. They thought wrong.
The museum was just ahead. I knew killing Karn meant sacrificing the bot, sir. I'd gotten pretty attached to the little guy. I guess there's other bots out there. Bye-bye. for our pal? What? The bot? What's its name anyway? Jack! No, no, no. It's Troy. That's a terrible name. He won't have it for long. Cadet Hendrick, what is your position? Uh, we're aiding another unit, sir. What unit? Did you stay on the island as ordered? Colonel, if we don't fire the light mass, everyone in Halvo Bay is going to die. Lieutenant, listen carefully. That weapon is being saved by smarter men than we for a purpose. If you fire it, I will have you tried and shot! Fine. I'll see you in court. I suggest you take cover, sir. told you to stay on that island, Lieutenant. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Kog. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We saved, what, a thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions. I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone.
Those doors ain't gonna hold. All that's left of Loomis's grand strategy. difference between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah. Why should all these brains be wasted on an officer, sir? Private. <laughs> Never. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. That's difference. Uh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. <laughs> Perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs> yeah, I think we might. Good. 